Hey everybody, welcome to the three-way podcast show. Yo. This is episode 40. I am your host, uh, Los, aka Public Enemy 59. We got Abby, aka Abby. <laughs> Abby. <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, Eli, aka Jerks 4. <laughs> uh, welcome to episode 40. We got a jam-packed episode today, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so let's uh, jump right in. Uh, we're gonna start off with pop culture. Pop. Pop culture. Boom. Uh, <laughs> first things first. Let's start off with the bang, or uh, with some speed. Ooh. Uh, oh. This is exciting. Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Released their freaking trailer, and uh, a lot of people had a lot to say about it. Um, so. What do you think? What did you think, Abby, about that trailer? First of all, um, I'm very excited that Jim Carrey has kind of like come out of the woodwork and he's being featured in such a yes. a great film. I'm, I'm very I'm gl- happy with that. I'm excited to see Jim. Um, and it kind of looks like he's stealing the show. It of might. The movie. It like, might it look like, like that. It seems he, he looks amazing. Yeah. Sonic, on the other hand, like it looks like <laughs> they took my teeth and put them on his. Oh, shizzle. like Eli. Yeah. Eli, what do you think? Um, it looks stupid, but I kind of want to watch it. I kind of want to watch this train wreck happen. <laughs> I, I'm in. I'm kind of in the same boat like that. I, I I don't think it looked that great, and but I still want to see it. I want to see what it's about. I want to see this in a big screen. Do I think it's gonna be a ten out of ten? Most likely not. But okay, so the internet gave us. Crap load of uh, of backlash, backlash yeah. against the how design. the design of Sonic, mm-hmm. uh, and one of the sh- uh, producers came out and said that we're gonna fix it. We've yeah, heard it was the, it was the, the critic the director. Okay, the director. so we've heard the criticism, and we're gonna go out. We're, we're gonna fix it. Is what he said. We're gonna you know we're gonna make it right. So man, one thing is on Twitter the same day that they released a trailer, this other uh, graphic artist put out his version of what Sonic would look like. And it looked like a mixture of the CG new stuff and a mix and a mixture of the old Sonic, uh, which you, you saw on Genesis. So I'm, I'm thinking that they might just, if I was the director, I would just take that fucking idea and put, and put that in the movie. Like, I agree. Make him look more like the old school Sonic. Don't I get agree. me wrong. I like how this new Sonic, like I'm probably one of the few people that actually kind of does like, what the new Sonic looks like, but I, I think the old design is so much better. Like, when I saw that guy post it um, and show what his design would be, I was like, oh my god, yes! That should be what they should put in there. <laughs> yeah. I just felt like they went too much to try and humanize him. Like, yeah, they that's true. Too yeah. much, hu- that for sure, too much yeah. yeah. And it was like, well, everyone who is a follower and a big fan of Sonic knows that he's not human, so why not... You know, there's so yeah, much. Yeah, even in the movie, he, he said he's not from planet Earth. Exactly. So why try and humanize him? That's so, so weird, much? too. That's not the lore of the games. No, it's not like he was ever came down to Earth as an alien, and oh, that's yeah. what he's always been an alien. Yeah. He, yeah. He's he has his own planet too. Yeah. Well, okay, but he was. It was never like he was at Earth and he was an alien. Okay, this is his planet. Cool, but I don't I mean, know. the mission was just get a whole bunch of rings. Yeah. Give me yeah, the yeah, that's yeah, true. Green Hill Zone. And so the the game didn't really specify. Uh, that's a true. Lot. So that's it's weird when it says mm-hmm. like, yeah, I came to save your planet. Like what? Okay. Right. okay. Uh, I did like uh, you know Jim Carrey's portrayal of uh, Doctor Robotnik. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. I like how he's, I, you he's know, witty. He was very witty. It was weird funny. and witty. I, I like that. Um, it's just yeah, the design. I like the voice acting too. Is Jim Schwartz, I believe, is the guy who's voice acting uh, Sonic. Yeah, the voice actually was was. Yeah, okay, that, I like the, the putting was, Gangsters the, Paradise as the. No, I didn't like that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I thought that was kind of dumb. They should have just picked the song from the game. That is what I would have done. Just yeah, you know, get a, a one of those damn songs from there. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I'm I'm curious to see what they do. They they got it till November. They it's a November release, right? Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah. Like late no, they announced the date. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. they, they announced the date, so they have until then to fix freaking Sonic. 
I agree. And we'll see what they do. No, and then, oh, another thing I saw on Twitter is someone said that this is the beginning of the Super Smash Brothers uh, universe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Well, I mean, it was weird because for me, Sega to be partnering for an actual movie, that's like way out of left field. And I thought that was also something interesting, too. Next is Nintendo. Yeah, because, you know, the last of I oh, heard yeah. any video game portrayal was, uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but was uh, when Mario Brothers, they used to have a TV show like way back. Yeah, yeah. Way yeah, back then. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is something different for Sega. And I think no, this is I mean, really I, really cool. I, I want the movie to succeed because that just means more video game makers are going to put their movies out there. And, the and we're hoping that they do it well because what I'm hearing from Detective Pikachu is that it's I hear a good I'm hearing good things about it. Oh that comes out this week. The reviews are out and people are are, are saying it's pretty pretty legit. So um I'm excited for that. If that can actually break the barrier and be a good video game turned movie, then I just hope that speaks to the rest of the industry like hey it is possible. Right? Yeah. You, you can do it. Um but yeah, next thing, we're going to go to uh, Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 3. Um, Yo. The Dark Knight, right? That's what it was called? What do we say? To the know. Night King? Not today. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, uh, but I don't understand about that, too. There was a lot of people complaining about how dark it was. I'm like, boy, don't you know how to turn up the brightness on your TV? <laughs> See, that's like, the thing, though. People were complaining that like, they shouldn't uh, have to, like, I would have normally, configure. like, watched the episode in darkness anyways. Like, something about just turning off all the lights and just focusing yeah, on that the TV too. is kind of, like, creates No, the my ambiance. thing isn't the, the darkness of the show. That's not <clears> my <throat> thing. The thing with me was that... I don't know who to blame if it's HBO or my uh, cable uh, provider, which is Xfinity. But that quality of the show was just terrible. Like, I was watching it, and I could literally see pixels oh, on my TV. Okay. And I'm like, I spent money on my entertainment system, on my freaking TV, <laughs> on my sound bar, on all this shit. And I'm paying my, my cable provider for... You know, HD quality shows, I DVR'd it. I don't know if that has something to do with it. The fact that I recorded it and maybe it wasn't the resolution that it was if it, I was watching it live. Probably. But watching it, it was like pixelated. Like I could lit like I was just tripping. That's what took me out of it. I could see so I could it was see like everything. A distraction. Yes, yes. And especially in the dark episode, you can tell where everything's pixelated. Now, the moment later on in the night, just to check, I streamed it using HBO Go in my Xbox, and it was loads better. I was like, oh, okay, this so is maybe like, it was a DVR recording. Maybe, I don't know what it was. And, and some people are saying that even when they were streaming it, the amount of capacity of people streaming it at the same time also affected their resolution. So I don't I know, because I streamed it later in the night, right, to just check it, so... I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's Xfinity because I'll, I'll turn any other channel to on Xfinity and it looks crystal clear. So I don't know. I don't know. Something, I think that was the problem is so many people watching this shit. It's fucking coming out distorted and people could notice that. Um, I agree. As far as everything else, the episode was badass. <laughs> um, uh, fucking the longest battle in, in cinema TV history. Uh, Arya came through. Yeah, uh, Dothraki got murdered yeah, instantly so in a matter of Spoilers, in case anybody hasn't seen it. But, I mean, if you haven't seen it by now, you probably don't really care anyways. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched it by Monday, <laughs> yeah. last week's episode. Actually, there was a lot of complaint, too, on Twitter about how everybody was spoiling it as it was happening. They were screenshotting it yeah. and then yeah. posting it on, on See, Twitter. I would be pissed about that. Like, hey, come on, give it a couple of days, you know? Before you start spoiling everything, but the internet is so. Well, even the actors, everybody's trying to put out the first yeah. meme and da, 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 so you you already had Arya memes that night. You already had Nine King memes that night. Mm -hmm. You had Jon uh, Snow memes. Jon Snow <laughs> looking at a uh, Sam dying. He's just kind of like, I don't give a shit. Like you had every yeah. You yeah, gotta stay was... away from the internet until you watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, or I agree with that. Else you're fucked. Because even the actors were getting backlash. Even because I know the one the actor that plays Theon Greyjoy posted, you know, his armor the following day, kind of like a R.I.P. And everyone was giving him hell that hadn't seen the episode. So again, watch mm -hmm. watch the episodes as they come out. I mean, they come out on a Sunday. Yeah. It, like, there's no reason why you can't just watch it. No excuses. No excuses. And if you work, quit. If you can watch it even in bad DVR <laughs> quality. Yeah. 
like no and shitty ass DVR quality. No <laughs> excuses. Damn, that sucks though, because I was watching it and I'm like, you're expecting, you know, one of the bi- to watch it in my 4K, watch it in the best quality <laughs> ever, ever. Oh no, God. it's fucking muddied and distorted. I'm like, I'm pissed. Pixels. I have yeah. none of these issues that people are talking about. What, what do you watch on? You just have HBO now? Yeah, I was just watching it on my computer here. Fucking zero awesome. problems. Zero problems. Yeah, and your fucking cave over here. There's no light. Well, what, you get what, in. what provider do you go with? Uh, I don't. Have, I don't have cable. I just have. He HBO. just has. He pays HBO monthly to to watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. even do that. I, I borrow my friends. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we go with Xfinity too, and we haven't had any problems. Either. Okay, see, it must have been me. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, final thing in pop. Um, we want to tip our, you know, take our caps off. Uh, to, to pay, uh, to pay tribute to a legend, uh, Peter Mayhew. Uh. The actor who uh, first portrayed Chewbacca and has done it for so many years uh, passed away. Um, he was how, how old was he? Seventy four. Seventy four. Oh my 74. god, so pretty away. young. But yeah, he passed away. Uh, you know, the whole industry acknowledging him, everybody acknowledging yeah. him, because uh, he's played such a huge part in our of our lives. Um, so you know, with May, uh, with uh, f- May the fourth just passing, you know. Uh, we want to say... Oh, well, yeah, a, today's recording. Yeah, yeah we want to wish Peter Mayhew a, and say uh, we hope, uh, you know, May the Force, the Fourth, they'll be with you. Uh, anything Man, else? Are you going to cry now? Or what? Uh, I'm about to. <laughs> are we going to do our Chewbacca noises now? No. Yeah, do try. Chewbacca noises. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I haven't been drinking enough for that, but yeah. Pour some, uh, you know... Nah, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, uh, but uh, Peter Mayhew, thank you, man. Uh, we hope you're up in heaven, just Chewbacca-ing it up and yeah, all with Jesus, live on. with all the other Chewbacca. And you Chewbacca's. joined the, what's his name, Han Solo. You joined Han Solo. Han. Han. Uh, but yeah, that's it for pop. We're gonna move on to sports. Sports. Space sorts. Space sorts. All right. Um, <laughs> NBA playoffs have been going on. Um, we've had it a crazy weekend so far of, uh, of, of playoffs. Um, we just saw uh, yesterday uh, the Trailblazers and Denver Nuggets go to quad, quadruple. Is that what you call sure. Quadruple overtime. Uh, That's a word. Freaking uh, Hill came on. Off of the bench, he was the freshest player on and ended up winning the game basically for the Blazers. Uh, Jokic played like a beast. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was in, uh, in shape after that game. Uh, but yeah, the uh, game's going close. We got uh, Milwaukee. Uh, Giannis basically has been handling the Celtics. Uh, we got Embiid who's been handling Toronto. They can't. They don't seem to have anything that can stop them. And we got Golden State and the Rockets, which, as of this recording, Game 3 still hasn't happened. Uh, so, yet to see what goes on there. But so far, Golden State has taken the games at home. Uh, I, I just want to go real quick into excuse me into predictions mm-hmm. um, as far as who we think are going are gonna to take these games. Now, I'm going to start with uh, Philadelphia and Toronto. Uh, Eli, who do you think out of Philly... And Toronto is going to take this game. Philly's up two one at the as of as of this recording. Philly. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take Toronto. I'm gonna take the long shot because my hatred of Embiid just keeps growing every every day. Uh, I just want I, I I want Toronto to win. Do I think they will win it? I don't know. But I'm hoping Toronto takes that. Uh, you got you any, any input over I'm going to go ahead and go with Toronto. All right. <laughs> um, boo, now, Canada, uh, boo. we got uh, a... talking boo. <laughs> boo. We got uh, Trailblazers and Denver uh, Nuggets. Uh, like I said, uh, Trailblazers went into quadruple overtime, managed to get that game. Uh, they're up to one as of this recording. Uh, who do you take, Eli? Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> uh, Portland and Denver. Portland and Denver. Oh, Portland. I don't think Denver's gonna win that one for sure. 
All right, I'm going to switch my thing up. I think after seeing these games, I think Denver has a pretty good chance, man. I think they're overall they're going to outlast the Portland Trailblazers. Um, they're down at the moment, but I don't know. I have a feeling about something about Denver. But, you know, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised. That's a close series. I wouldn't be surprised if Portland takes it also. Abby? I'm going to go with Portland. All right, bet. Um, <laughs> then we got... I will go with Portland. <laughs> <laughs> then we got uh, Milwaukee and Boston. Um, uh, Milwaukee, Giannis had a crazy game yesterday. Um, managed to beat out Boston. Uh, and so they're now they're up 2-1. So Milwaukee Bucks against Boston uh, Celtics. Eli, who you got? Uh, I'm going to say the Bucks, but probably Celtics. After seeing what I've been seeing, I, I picked the Celtics to win this game. Actually, I picked them to go all the way to the Eastern Championship. Yes, and okay. you know, uh, you know, some people have been touting the Milwaukee Bucks, and I was just saying that. Well, I need to see them prove it to me in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Giannis is a beast. Yes, yeah, right. I'm actually watching it in in live, and um, yeah, man, I'm gonna switch my pick up from Boston and go straight to Milwaukee Bucks. Mm-hmm. Abby, who you got? I'm actually going with Boston. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we got uh, Golden State Warriors and Houston Rockets. Uh, Golden State is up 2-0. Uh, as of the time of this recording, they're about to play game three. Mm-hmm. Uh, who do you got? Uh, Golden State. All right. Um, I'm going on <laughs> what, depending on what happens tonight, like twice... Two times in those games, uh, they've managed to, uh, like in the, what was it, in the second game when they, uh, when they hurt uh, James Harden's eye? Sure. Yeah. He got, they poked his eye. The motherfuckers couldn't, like the light was hurting his fucking eyes. He was bleeding. Uh, I don't know about bleeding. He, no, he was, bur- maybe yeah, burst the shit. Yeah, you blood. He was bleeding. Okay, well, yeah, that's pretty bad. So, no, bleeding like I mean. Rope. For, of course, these guys had no chance in game two. Even with the injury, he still scored, what, 28, 29 points? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. That so sounds about right. I'm, I'm going to go off, depending on what happens on game three, which you guys will know, if Golden State wins, it's 3-0, it's over, series yeah, gonna, it's over. Golden State's going to take it. If Rockets win game three, it's still over. I'm going Golden State. <laughs> Thank you. All right. What you got? Rockets. All right. Ah. Oh, another thing that I want to bring up, uh, speaking about NBA playoffs, is the refereeing. Uh, we've had uh, several instances where the ref, ref refereeing in the in the playoffs has been under uh, you know at, uh, critique. Uh, first with uh, you know them not the non calls made for the Rockets and Harden. Mm-hmm. Then we got all the calls that were made for Giannis against Boston in Game Three. Um, basically the third quarter, Giannis was driving in and he was getting all these calls, which is pretty consistent with what he was, he's been doing all, all year. Yeah. Um, but you know, Celtics were complaining about that. It looks like Kyrie Irving is going to get a fine at some point for the comments he made in the, in the press conference. Um, what do you think about the officiating so far? It's, it's uh, terrible. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it, folks. It's fucking terrible. This is the reason <laughs> This is the reason why NBA is one of my least liked leagues and mm-hmm. the least watched by my uh, perspective because games hinge so much on the referees. And the referees have such a large input mm-hmm. on what on how games turn out. And <clears throat> why do I want to waste time on watching a game, rooting for a team when in the end the refs are going to decide who wins and who loses. It's like every time someone's driving in, refs got to pay attention. Every time someone's shooting the ball, refs, refs got to input. I mean, it's just to me, it's like, man, I miss the old league where refs would just let them play. Yeah. Now you got every swipe, every, <clears throat> you know, push, every everything is a foul. So why even bother? It's one of my – it's my least like league, man. I, I'd rather – you know, soccer, the ref doesn't get in it. In football, they they even they let him play, man. Um, fuck. So yeah, I, baseball, they they make calls and that's it. Like, and they even have replay systems for that now. So but isn't they, the baseball like it's the umpire though, right? Yeah, it's an umpire, and they'll call outs, they'll call strikes. 
and when there's an out or like there's a catch and you know they'll re- the, uh, the coaches can ask for a, a review so they those get reviewed so those get, calls get overturned so we're, not all these plays are dependent on what these umps are calling uh, and the replay system for NBA is super lagging you, you some things that get reviewed but not they need to expand that because otherwise I mean it will continue to be my least like watched league. I barely care for the playoffs, but, you know, hey, whatever. If you guys like it, more power to you. Please tell me how you feel about refereeing in the comments below. It's bad. Yeah. Refereeing. A thankless um, job. So now yep. we're going to go on to gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Game over. What the hell oh are you doing? Gaming. Put, put those away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Borderland, Borderland right 3. Right? Borderlands 3. Had their gameplay reveal this past week. Um, uh, fucking Gearbox <clears throat> had a whole reveal event. <laughs> fucking 100 <laughs> streamers streaming the game. Uh, you know, going in-depth. No microtransactions. Well, okay, okay. There is microtransactions. Exactly. That's but, why the whole quotation. Might... But they're not like. They're cosmetic. They're cosmetic. They're not a necessity. But go on, I'm sorry. Well, that's microtransactions. So, <laughs> um, fucking, what's his name? Uh, I, I, Randy Pitchford. Randy Pitchford uh, went on stage, uh, said that there would be no fucking uh, microtransactions. But then they talked about how there's some microtransactions. So that well, has been a little the, bit of a... He worded it a little bit different. I forget what he said exactly, but it was like, it wasn't like, he. I think he said there's no uh, mobile free-to-play microtransactions in here. In terms of like, you have to grind a shit ton to do just to get like this one thing, whatever. I think that's what he meant, but that's okay. I think that's how you phrased it. Okay, well, well I mean, I don't care. But as far <laughs> as uh, as far as you guys uh, seeing the the streams, you saw the trailer, Abby. Uh, what do you think about Borderlands? 3? I was very impressed. I thought that the settings are very different. Each location is unique. I thought it was really good, and the gameplay seems like it's improved. As yeah, well. like I, I saw it too, and honestly, it makes me want to go play the other ones. Cause I'm never, yeah. I've never been interested in Borderlands. I never have either, and that's why this one like kind of drew me in because I was like, oh wow, this is something. Yeah, and it's a co-op game too, mm-hmm. so that's something for sure. I feel like playing co-op would be fun. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you guys. There, there's a lot interesting in there. I, I like I mentioned to y'all earlier the loot system. I like yeah. how. When you look at the loot drop and you just kind of go through it and yeah. you, you don't have to pick everything up. You just kind of go through it and pick up what you want. Right. Um, I, I've never played a Borderlands. And yeah, watching Borderlands 3 stuff makes me want to go back and play Borderlands uh, 2. One and two. One and, two. Um, and I, you know, the community around it is like freaking uh, passionate about it. So yeah. there has to be... I've never, I don't, I, I, I'm not watching game, uh, gameplay for Borderlands 3 and going like, oh my god, but obviously the community around this and the, the publicity around yeah. this, there has to be something about it that gets, gets, you know, grabs people. Yeah, because like you said on the, on the reveal that they did, they had a whole bunch of different Twitch streamers yeah. that were playing, and it looked like everyone was enjoying. What yeah, they, and so what that's. I mean, I've never been a big Borderlands person. I've said that here before, but I, I, I feel like I need to at least give it a shot, either two or the new one coming out and see. What well, they just re-released their one and two, and they put it like they're like HD versions. I think that just came out within. Yeah, the, no, the, time, the, hand, this, the like, well, yeah, the they, last month and a half. Or something yeah, like Borderlands Two is out, and then the Handsome Collection has one and the pre pre sequel. Yeah, pre-sequel. yeah. So, uh. If you get the handsome collection that has the pre sequel in one, and that's like HD'd up. And no, no, no. Or, there's another one. There's that. And then Portland and then there, too. And then there's another one that just came out. Oh, really? It's a re re release. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the release of the re release. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, I'll probably I'll see what's up. I'm not. I'm oh, you not, know it's in VR too. I know. Yeah. That's the version that I'm kind of interested in. <laughs> but the, the VR version doesn't have co op. The Borderlands 2 VR doesn't have co-op. So you would so basically only play this game if you could play it with someone else, like a partner? I feel or like playing it with someone else would be fun. Yeah, okay. I think so too. But VR would be cool too. And then they just implemented the aim 
controller, mm. so I could play with the gun that I bought for VR. Oh. Which would seem, I don't know, <laughs> debating. You know, we're mm-hmm. all, maybe if you guys, you know, gave us, you know, some donations, we would probably hey. be able to do this. Uh, but yeah, uh, big. Borderlands 3. So, uh, another news, um, Epic Games. Who's that? Uh, uh, the people who made Fortnite. Oh. Uh, went ahead and inquired Psionics, the people that made Rocket League. Oh, well, um, I think they use the Unreal Engine too, right? For Rocket League? I assume. I, I think there's something there in b- between both of them that they work they together for. A, yeah, before. they co- yes. they collab for and this game. And not only that, their headquarters used to be about 12 miles away from mm-hmm. each other until uh, oh, Psionics so they were moved. Like basically yeah, so they fucking were. each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were like but a yes. booty call away. Yeah, yeah they are booty, booty calls. Call away, yeah, they are yes. booty calls. <laughs> cool. All right, well, this is big because Rocket League is one of the biggest, like, you know, competitive games out there continues to sell. Continues that game is to hard events. to play, dude. Huh? It's hard. Yeah, I, I was uh, <laughs> reading into that. It's like so. It's like, kind of like a soccer, but you're yeah. playing it with like a race car. Correct. Yeah. And it looks crazy. Actually, I'll pop it on in a bit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we can play. But it's it's really fun because even as a, as a novice player, you're not. It's still fun to go out there and mm. kick the ball and basically. The goals are on either side, and you cars are trying to get it in that goal, and these cars are trying to get it in that goal. Yeah. Now, there's players out there that are, like, super hardcore, because the physics system is pretty cool. Yeah. Where people are bouncing, floating, flying, hitting the ball a certain way, <laughs> curving yeah. it, making, like, badass, like, goals. Like I said, it's a big competitive game. There's, like, a whole league for this, um, and it's pretty popular. Uh, Cause the game look just is fun to watch when you see these players doing I'm this sure. crazy shit. It's a fun so game if to it just was like, watch. We want in on that. <laughs> Whatever it is, I mean, it hasn't. I mean, some people are speculating they want to just do it to take it off Steam and put it exclusively on Epic. Well, because Steam is their biggest competitor. Correct. Um, and Epic just came out, and yet they're they've already done a bunch of stuff like taking a big chunk out of Steam already. Well, just to speak on uh, Epic. They they said recently too, like their CEO was saying that we'll we'll stop doing this exclusivity thing if you guys do the same split that we're doing. So they're kind of like challenging Steam to do the same split. That I think their split is what thirteen seventy seven. No, like it's like thirty seventy. So they take- no, it's thirty seventy with Steam, but with Epic is like twelve percent. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's, that, right. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Steam is taking thirty percent of every cut. While Epic is taking, like you said, 12%. 12 or 13%, like, something like that, yeah. It's yeah, a lot so less. it's really basically. small cut of what compared to, and including um, PlayStation Store, including Xbox Store, including yeah. Nintendo, all these guys are taking like 30% of everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever someone puts on their, on their system, they're taking a cut. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's been the standard and Epic's over here like, nope, this is what, you know... <clears throat> This is what you sh- y'all should be doing. This is what... Uh, well, basically, we challenge all this. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, man. If they want to take Rocket League, make it exclusive, like, and challenge Steam to, hey, man, drop your fucking prices, because otherwise, people are going to start going to, to Epic and not put anything out on Steam. I mean, really, I don't think this affects, like, the consumer. It's more for the, the companies that are, like... Yes, yeah, the developers, develop, giving them the more of a cut. developers, the publishers, and, and all those Yeah, people. and as a developer, what are you going to do? Are you going to put your game on Epic, where it's 12, mm-hmm. you, you get, you know, 88% of your money? Or are you going to put it on Steam, where you get 70? Like, hell yeah, put it on an Epic Store easy. Yeah, yeah on top of that, like, whenever they do exclusives, um, the other thing they do, too, is pay them. So, oh, even better. So they'll pay them, come to my store... And then on top of that, whatever you sell, you still get that cut. Yeah. And then, yeah, what's what's to lose? Exactly. Yeah. As a developer. As now, a consumers are pissed because now they got to download a whole other store. Well, but, now, yeah, yeah, that's so hard. Lazy. It's oh. like well, two clicks what, away. What they click, did clarify click. was that those that already had purchased the game, they can still use it. Yeah, on that, that doesn't affect them at all. Right. You get okay. to play the game. You still cross-play. Nothing changes for you. It's, it's only just for the ones. new people. It's just the yeah. newbies that come in and want to purchase it. Now it'll have to be through Epic. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, hey, uh, what does that mean for Rocket League specifically? Well, now it means they have a huge-ass company that can fund them. Mm-hmm. So I imagine more content, yeah, I'm more sure. events. Maybe more challenges. More, you know, uh, more funding for the leagues. Probably cross-play between Fortnite and Rocket League. Oh. <laughs> and 
interesting. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. So very interesting. Um, and uh, also in gaming, uh, Oculus went ahead and released the pricing for their uh, Oculus. What's it called? The the quest, but the, the quest. Yeah, the pricing has already been revealed. What wasn't revealed was the release date, which is oh. what we have now. Oh, okay. So now, yeah, we, Oculus now is going to be. Um, it's four hundred dollars. There's an Oculus Quest and Oculus Rift S. Both of them, uh, each of them has their own thing. But for the most part, if you're a, 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 like a new person coming into like the VR uh, world, uh, I would suggest the Quest. It's just a, like a little bit better than the uh, Rift S. And basically, you don't need, it's not tethered to anything. It's wireless. You don't need a, a, like a really good PC to run it because you usually do need a good PC to run it. And um, uh, it, so it has everything in the headset. All the sensors on the headset. Your, the controls are sensors as well. So that's another part of it. Uh, is it as good as the original Oculus uh, Rift? No, because of the sensors. Right. That's what I was reading on. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's a good... But it also comes with the controller as well. So it, it Those controllers are so good. Yeah, like, so it, no it, it won't just be just the headset itself. It will include, like... Uh, yeah, the controllers will be included. Yeah, and I think the Quest is a great product, and I've already seen a bunch of reviews on it, and people are very excited about well, just it because... just being untethered means, like... Correct. Yeah, yeah, up until now, everything, you're tethered up to something. Um, with the Quest, you can literally pop it on anywhere. And just start playing it. Yeah, the only VR. connection it will have is just the USB to charge it. And that's yeah. the only connection. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, uh, I think it's a great starting off point, excuse me, for people just coming into VR. Yeah. Like, if this, if you, if there's some, if out of all the VRs out there, if I had to recommend one, I would be like, go with the Quest. Because you don't need anything else. You don't need to worry about any uh, have, run, having a rig, having a console that runs it. Just pop it on, yeah. do a quick configuration, and boom, you're in VR. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty badass. And it and it's really smart of them to do this and then introduce it at such a, a consumer-friendly price. Yeah. $400 for, like, a VR-ready wireless, like, that's freaking crazy. It's about the same price as a regular console. Yeah. And so... You know, usually with the PS4, you got to buy the console, you got to buy PlayStation VR, you got to buy the controllers, you got to buy have the camera, you got to have you got to have the uh, move controllers, you got to yeah. So you can get up there in price real fast, exactly, real quick, and then you got to buy the games. Uh, So with the Quest, it's all in one. It's pretty cool. Then you said they uh, they also have that Rift S, which if you have a PC, you you want it tethered, you can just go that route. It's actually cheaper, three fifty. No, the Rift S is the same oh. price as the Quest. Oh, okay. The, 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 one that's, the, the one that's 350 is the original Oculus Rift. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So it's just an updated version of the, the yes, model. Yes and no. Think about it like um, an iPhone update. Like exactly. From 8 to AS. Gotcha, exactly. Ba- basically, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. The Rift S. No, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I want, I'm thinking about it. I don't have a PC. Yeah, it would be cool to have, but you said that it, the the uh, the the quest has like different models with different sizes. What are the sizes of it? What do you mean different models? And sizes? Like different uh, hard drives. Oh, uh, yes, storage uh, space. I think the base one starts off with sixty four gigabytes, and then That's it goes up to one twenty eight. If I'm not mistaken, here I'll pull it up. But um, that does matter in terms of like. Uh, uh, putting the games on there, but honestly, even putting the games on there, you're not really looking at uh, like massive games, like uh, I don't know, like fucking like Fortnite or something. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, looking you're not at- you're looking at games you're gonna be playing for like really quick sessions, like maybe about two hours at max, because like wearing the headset, honestly, it does get daunting. Like within the first hour, for the first time, like oh. you'll get motion sickness if you're not used to it. Oh. Like, I thought it was gonna be like head size, like if you have a big head. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, I think the newer version too has like the uh, has uh, the adjustments for people with glasses too, so you can use them at the same time. Uh, the quality in the lenses though, they're not like 4K or whatever, so don't yeah. expect anything like that. Yeah, the, the Quest isn't gonna have the best quality out there. I mean, yeah. there's the tethered sets right now are giving out the best uh, yeah. quality, yeah. but. For four hundred dollars wireless, I mean, I think it's a steal. Yeah. Um, it's worth it. It's 
Simpsons. No, um, but and also uh, freaking Valve. Oh um, yeah, I just saw this today too. Release yeah. talked about their new headset, which is called the X. What it the? It was some stupid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Valve. Well, so these guys are putting out their like expensive headset. This yeah. is the headset that if you like. Want the best? It's the mother of all headsets. Yeah. Oh, this... it's called the Valve Index. Index. There we go. One thousand dollars. One thousand bucks. One thousand dollars. But this right now in the market would be the most powerful VR headset in the industry. Yeah. This is for the people who like all the graphics and all that shit. Well, this is the headset for them. But it's not wireless. No, tethered <laughs> to your PC, but you're running like HD. Uh. Is it even better than HD? Are we talking 4K? No. No, no way it's going to be 4K yet. No. HD, like HD graphics, which is pretty hard right now for the headsets to do. Um, I mean, because, yeah, you're putting HD twice. You got to put it for each eye. HD, HD. So that's why it's been hard for these uh, VR uh, makers to put out really good headsets because it's, it's not easy. You're putting, yeah, like the cost to do it. It's, it's it's pretty high up there, but uh, with this uh, the Valve Index, like yeah, from what I've seen and heard, it's like right now probably the pinnacle of VR. Oh. Correct. But uh, but then again, like um, the HTC Vive has been doing their thing too with their with the Pro version. But yeah, like honestly, anybody just just getting into the VR uh, scene, just get a Quest, get a Quest or a Rift S or Nintendo Labo VR. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, which I've actually have tried. And regret it. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, I played... Hey, I, when, there was a new update recently with Legend of Zelda and Mario Odyssey. Oh, uh, yeah. And the Legend of Zelda one's pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, I actually like that one better than the Mario Odyssey one. Mm -hmm. The Mario Odyssey one is just... Well, both. It just does not look great. <laughs> You're getting like 420... If even that on each eye, it's you're seeing pixels on the screen. It's it's not it great. One eye does it get better? Yeah, no. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's uh just go to you know just go to Nintendo Lab VR. No, absolutely um, not. But speaking of uh, cheap plugins, hey, if you go to my Twitch channel, I'm actually doing a giveaway for an Oculus Quest. Jerks four. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Follow. My, the goal is to reach 50 subs, and once I get there, I'm gonna do a, a giveaway for a quest. So I have a chance. Twitch.tv forward slash JR. Because I sub. So I can, I can sign up. So I have a chance. Hey, everybody who follows has a chance. You don't have to subscribe. What? But if, but if you subscribe, you get a higher chance of uh, winning. So I have a higher follow? chance. Yeah. You, okay. you have a two times chance. What? Actually, I might change that, though, for the Prime members, because I want to get half of that shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. There you are. Um, all right. And to end the uh, uh, podcast... We have a pretty special uh, subject we want to go into. What? Uh, we heard about this game that got, got kick-started. Oh, so we are talking about We this. are going to talk about <laughs> it. We heard about a game that got kick-started called literally. Subverse. Subverse. Now, Subverse. my <clears throat> companion here likes to label it as the Triple X Mass Effect. I would have to agree. I would um, agree have with to that. Agree. So basically from the video, it's a Kickstarter. Go, I mean, the campaign ended. And let me just say this. This they had no promotions, no marketing. Nothing. They made almost two million dollars in yes. this campaign. Mm -hmm. Why? Abby, explain why. Uh, because <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I wanna show them the trailer, but I haven't actually seen it, so I have to like proofread uh, it. It's it's not it's, yeah. it's not no no no. no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's it's very uh, mundane. Maybe rated R a little bit. Are we allowed to do rated R? Yeah. On this? Not okay. even rated R. It's like rated PG? PG-13? Okay. All right. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, uh, basically, this game has um, <laughs> reached a pinnacle in popularity <clears throat> because it will feature consensual sex hey. between players. Finally. So, basically, like in Mass Effect, you're building these relationships. You're talking to people all around the universe. I've never played Mass Effect. This is what I've heard. Um, <laughs> but in Subverse, similarly, you're going to build relationships. You're going to be... It's an RPG. You're in the world. You're... You're fucking uh, talking to people. You're building relationships. Mm -hmm. And if you like somebody enough, guess what? Yeah, you're building a ship. And then from your shipmates... Now, it doesn't specify whether you can do consensual yeah, between male not... or females. but I think you can. But it did say that with your females, you know, counterparts, oh you can God. initiate 
sex. Yeah, you can build relationships and, and get it on. And through sex, you can unlock um, their secrets. You can unlock... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unlock their secrets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds about a, sounds like a normal relationship. Yeah, but you can yeah. like a, unlock like certain steps, like to like better the relationship oh between characters and stuff. So that's apparently. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of waifus in this. That what they, the hell is a waifu? A waifu is an anime character that is okay. hot and that you want to wife up. But isn't it W A I F U? I thought that's waifu. Waifu. How would you say it? I thought it's it was an acronym for something. I thought that. Oh, word was maybe a huge it is. Acronym. I don't know. I didn't know. Woman, I know. Anime, I know. Oh my god, this is not radio. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's 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 crazy. I think it's um, I think it's great. I think for it's a cool. Kickstarter, yeah, and no promotion, and everyone's donated, and it's gotten close to two million dollars. Like more power to I them. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think the company DC is is behind it. No, it's uh, a <laughs> no, no, no. no, that's what it said in the article. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a uh, no PO something interactive or something POW interactive or I don't know. Um, wait, wait, wait. I read what she's talking about. DC. The too. the company it it did say there was a company named DC, not necessarily DC Comics. No, I think it's DC the person. Yes. Yeah, it says while Studio F O W F O W F O W is heavily the company behind the um, DC the creative director. Yeah. yeah. So they're the DC. <laughs> oh, okay. FOW Interactive. That's the name of the company. Um, I think they're uh, English based, like sure, England. Uh, they're basically known for creating like these really like hardcore uh, porn movies. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. And they take uh, video from what games. I read, they Interactive take video experiences. Game, from video what game, I read, uh huh. Video game heroines. So like the females, they take these females and uh, they put them in these movies where they get raped and everything and all that. Oh stuff. yikes! Yeah, we're not gonna go too okay. much into detail. But basically, for the gameplay, they did take that away, and they did say that the sex would be consensual between. I'm really characters. glad we have our uh, mm. uh, just hentai expert here, M- Abby, to talk about no, all this that, stuff. No, that's, yeah. that's Paolo. Um, Sorry. But anyways, um, <laughs> too much detail. so tell us, are y'all interested in Subverse? It's a PC-only game so far. I hope if it, you know, maybe it gets some more funding in the future. Maybe I doubt you know, it'll it could go come to console. console. I doubt <laughs> it. <laughs> Oh, all right i'll just come play it over here then and i'll make sure to bring my ky I have, a living, um, I have a living breathing breathing person oh you know, like, okay hey robert <laughs> wow shout out um, shameless plug but yeah that's our show today uh let us know what you guys think uh about what the hell we talked about today i know we kind of swerved a bit off topic sometimes but that's what we do here on the show the last, the last we do topic. it for you guys <laughs> um now uh i like to do something special sometimes on these shows i call it the final punch where we give our last words on anything we want to talk about um eli you got a final punch uh nope all right abby <laughs> final punch thick sonic uh you know my <laughs> final punch same thing hey finally the internet m- did so much backlash that they happened to change the whole direction of a huge project like this blows my mind that they actually listen to the internet if it was me guess what i would have stuck to my cojones yeah. i would have fucking stuck it out i would too fucking 28 and rotten tomatoes i wouldn't give a shit i would have put out the movie as is final my final final punch Create a Smash Brothers universe. No. A cinematic universe, yes. <laughs> we got Detective Pikachu. We got Sonic. Next we need Mario, Zelda. Then we put out a fucking Metal Gear. Then put out Cloud, Final Fantasy. Bring it all together around a Smash Brothers movie. We want it. This is what we want. Smash <laughs> Brothers universe, cinematic universe. I want it now. That's my final punch. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. Peace. And see. Cinematic Universe, come on!